Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Yes, finally, the flip through of the October 2022 Crochet World magazine. This has actually been sitting here for a while, waiting to be opened, not even opened, because I wanted to flip through it first with you guys and I just haven't had a chance to make a video. So, going straight in with the anti deborah proof packaging facilitator here, scissors. Uh, let's pull all the stuff out of the little plastic packet they send. Get rid of the plastic packet. And of course, you have adverts. The Bradford Exchange wanting you to buy some things that are terribly overpriced, but there you go. Uh, more Bradford Exchange, more overpriced. AARP trying to get you to sign up. We're already AARP, AARP members because we old, okay? And more Bradford Exchange. Wow, Bradford Exchange must pay a pretty penny to end up with these magazines because they got a bunch of stuff. I'm actually going to remove my glasses partially for the glare and partially because I see better up close without them. Yeah. Um, now, to tell you what I have here, I've got my sponge with some water in it so that I don't go uh, to move the pages because that's kind of gross. I also have a beverage because my mouth will get dry because I'm running it. And... Uh, got the magazine now i'm also going to try to flip through and get rid of the stuff that they put in between that's loose because that does happen sometimes ah only one thing there um trying to get you to sign up to subscribe to the magazine now, i subscribe to this i pay for it with my own cashy money and i enjoy it this one um is on sale now in the stores though display until october 24th and i'm pretty sure it's been out there for a while the list price for this in the U.S. is $5.99, and in Canada, it is $6.99. I think you can also get this digitally, um, which is pretty cool, but I, I like, I know, it's so wasteful, but I like having the thing in my hands. I like to be able to flip through. And this one on the cover is beautiful. They're talking about Welcome Autumn. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's giving me some Southwest vibes right there. And I do love the southwest of the U.S. It's so pretty. Got some pumpkins in the background. Let's jump in. And even the adverts in this magazine are always beautiful. Like this is an advert for Plymouth Yarn. It's a pretty scarf. Um, their table of contents is always nice. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, well, they even give you some stuff here. October 2022. This is volume 45, number five. Not sure what all of that correlates to but there you go find us on the web at crochet-world.com um but they give you some pictures of a few of the items and really nicely bigly bigly oh gosh i can't even talk today printed um what it is you know in that table of contents and yeah i, I like that i've always liked the way this magazine is put is put together though i really do that's why i subscribe to it you've got a uh letter for the from the editor and talking about a giveaway opportunity on page 38 which i have not looked at which if i've waited this long i might be out of date with it there's always adverts um for knit and crochet now.com it's also an annie's production i think crochet world is also from annie's um but this is a, some kind of a tv show on uh pbs or something something else that i really enjoy about this magazine is that they give you it tells you the skill level needed. It tells you exactly what they used and what you, you know, what you're supposed to use for it. This is a striped kitchen set, and I'll just show you the picture there. It's not a very big picture. Um, there you go. Okay, and this is for a confident beginner. It's for a number two. Finished measurements on this. On the dishcloth is eight inches square. On the dish towel, it's 14 inches wide and 23 inches long. They're using Premier Yarns Home Cotton Medium Worsted Weight Cotton Polyester Yarn. Okay, the cotton polyester, thats I think that's the stuff that they sell at Dollar Tree, if you want to get it there. Um, but yeah, it's the cotton polyester. And they're using Passion Fruit and Cream for their colors. And what's that third one? There's some gray in there, too. Oh, and Pewter. Pewter is the other color. Reading comprehension, y'all. Reading comprehension. Um, they give you the gauge and stuff, which, mm, how many of us have ever made a gauge swatch? I know I should. I know I should. But anyway, 
Um, they tell you what size hooks, and on this one it is a five millimeter crochet hook and a tapestry needle to weave in those ends. And some pretty easy directions, including some diagrams on some of the stitches, because this one is a very beginner one. It's a confident beginner. Basically, confident beginner, you've made some double crochets before. That's pretty much what they're saying. This one here says it's easy. It's done in a DK weight yarn. Premier anti-pilling everyday light DK yarn. Gotta love that. That's an easily available yarn for most of us here in the U.S. That is the Milk and Honey Blanket. Two lovely colors combined with cross stitches and an easy to memorize pattern to create this sweet blanket. Yeah. That's kind of nice. And also, if it doesn't match your color scheme, dude, change it up. You don't have to do what they say. They're not the boss of you or something. <laughs> it does say it's an easy though. Uh, finished measurements are 38 inches wide and 60 inches long. And um, let's see, how many, how much do they use? Well, 11 skeins of the cream and that's 100 grams per skein. So that's a lot of yarn. But I mean, that's why it's a, you should, like if you're selling your crochet, dude, charge some real money for it. They even give you diagrams on how to do the front cross stitch, which is cool if you've never done one. This one is an intermediate, and let's see if I can show you this picture of her wearing it while I read the other side. The Long Lack Shawl, designed by Cindy Bennett, it's an intermediate, wingspan, 74 inches. I guess it's going to make you fly, okay? Um, the depth is 32 inches, the armhole opening is 12 inches. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that's one way you can wear it. Here's the other way. You can stick an arm through it so you don't drop it. That's my problem with shawls. I have to pin them because I'll, I'll lose I'll lose everything, okay? Um, yeah, but if you stick your arm through it, it keeps you from losing it, I guess. They're using a DK weight on this. Um, Barocco Vintage DK Light Acrylic Wool Nylon Blend with a five millimeter hook. And yeah, I think that's probably super doable. Um, I don't think that there's any really hard stitches in it. It's just a matter of following following the pattern and keeping up with it, which I have a problem keeping up with things. But, but, th that's very nice. Very, very nice. And I like the color they use, too, because, you know, it's purple. I love purple. This is that one from the cover. Oh, I did manage to drop another thing out of it. Okay. This is the Autumn Starburst Afghan. And this is another one that says Confident Beginner. It's only a number two. And they're using Red Heart Super Saver. Wow. Okay. They're making this super accessible for everybody. Of course, if you don't like Super Saver, use your favorite acrylic yarn. It's okay. If you'd prefer to have like one of those anti-pillings, yeah. Spend the extra couple of bucks and do it. No problem there. Um... But that is pretty cool. And the finished measurements on that are 54 inches wide, 72 inches long. And it's using the number four, like I said, Red Heart Super Saver. And it's using a five millimeter hook. All right. Bunch of different, a bunch of skeins in that. Yeah. And you're making 48 blocks. Holy cannoli. Wow. Oh, oh I see how that's done now. I have so learned how to pick apart how things are put together, and I love it. It doesn't take away the magic for me and how they do something. It's like, got it. My noggin figured it out. 48 blocks, and the way you put them together gives you that awesome pattern. Super cool. I really like that. And if that color scheme is not your thing, a lot of people are like, I don't like the fall colors. Whatever. Change it up. If you'd rather have it in neons, dude, do it in neons. Enjoy. And more directions over here, including um, how to put things together with diagrams and all that good stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. An advert for sheets. All right, they want you to sleep at some point. Ooh, oh, this is in teeny, teeny tiny. We're at the lace weight stuff. And I will show you the picture that kind of shows them in use. These are Autumn Flash Mug Rugs. Okay, they're marked as an easy. If your eyeballs and hands are young enough to work with lace weight, it's an easy. If not, do it with something larger to end up with a blanket or something. 
but they're using a uh, Lisbeth size 10 crochet cotton. It's a zero lace weight and they've got the, the colors listed there for it. Um, what is the oh, a 1.80 millimeter steel crochet hook? Yikers. But that is so, so pretty. And all of the directions are on this one page. So the repeat on it, it's like you're doing the same thing over and over again. Um, but with the, that color change, it's really pretty. I love autumn stuff. I do. Y'all know I love fall. I love fall. And of course, their little description here. The fall colors of these mug rugs will warm your decor and your heart as you enjoy your favorite beverage. I know it's, it's cheesy. I know. But it's okay. Here's more lace weight. Y'all, you're killing me with the lace weight. Give me some more three or four. But... It really is pretty. Look at this. Nice fillet work, and they're calling this Confident Beginner, so it must be pretty easy to follow. Um, a size 10 crochet cotton. They're using Elizabeth size 10 again. And a 1.65 millimeter steel crochet hook. And again, I'm of the opinion with this kind of stuff that if you wanted to bump it up to something larger, um, you could do that with a larger yarn and a larger needle or hook needle good grief but you could do that it just wouldn't be exactly what they're doing here the finished measurement on this by the way is 16 and a half inches wide and 42 inches long i love the colors in that though the nice autumn colors it says this is a fun fillet project to brighten your table for spring summer and fall it could also be used as a valance by adding cafe clips to a curtain rod Oh, how cute would that be? Yes. Super cute, super cute. And they give you the graph as well. Not They give you directions and they give you the graph. Awesome. Uh, this is part of a make-along that they're doing. The Resplendent Squares. This is part five. They're using lace weight on this stuff. I'm not making a blanket or whatever out of lace weight, but it, it really is pretty the way it's coming out. Um, and this one is an intermediate, the square. So yeah, the directions for that are in there and some pictures of some of the squares. Okay, here's one. I'm trying not to show the pattern. I don't want to get like, oh, you showed our pattern. You're going to die or whatever. See that? Like that. I love the way they turn out. I'm just not keen on having to wear magnifying glasses in order to crochet. Oh, look at this. They're advertising a catalog that you can get for this lace weight yarn and stuff and showing stuff that you can make. It makes me really wish that I could work with that kind of yarn with any confidence. Oh, hello. I've managed to spill water because my sponge was too wet. Hang on. I'm cleaning up a mess that I have made for myself. I, I, I hit my finger into the sponge that I'm using to wet my finger so that I can turn pages. I'm a doof. You know I'm a doofus. It happens. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is Omega size 10 crochet cotton. This is called the Clematis Doily, designed by Charles Vaugh. It is very, very pretty. I'm looking at this as one you would have to starch. I'm thinking something my grandma would have made because my grandmother could crochet this stuff. Me, not so much. But there you go. And they're using a 1.5 millimeter steel crochet hook. Wow. Okay. Did you know the colorful parts of a clematis flower are called sepals, not petals? Some varieties have double layers. This mandala doily was inspired by the double clematis seen in the designer's local garden center. So apparently he gets his inspiration like from the garden and stuff. That is awesome though. It really is pretty. It's very decorative. Everything in my house has to be super practical and not decorative. So, you know. Um, then they have the... Uh, some stories that they put in there about different people and creators and stuff. Let's see. Another advert for something with Annie's Kid Clubs with some beautiful afghans. And another advert to subscribe to the magazine. Look at that. Yes, I like looking at adverts too, depending on the adverts. You know, if they go with the theme. Here's some more lace weight stuff. And if you have stuff to make for the kiddos, this might be something. It's super cute. It says, these cute wands are great for dress-up, play, or Halloween costumes. They're called fairy wands. 
They're doing it in zero lace weight, Aunt Lydia's classic size 10 crochet cotton. It says it's an easy. It doesn't take much yarn, of course, to do because it's a little thing and you put little ribbons on it and everything. And the kiddos have, you know, magic wands to play with. That's cute. It could also be a cat toy. I'm just saying. Oh, and here's something else that they did along with this. Let's see if I can turn it around. Now, they're doing this in a five bulky, I guess, to make up for all that lace weight. I don't know. Uh, this is the Wizard's Spell Magic Cape. Um, 20 inches wide, 23 inches long. They're using Lion Brand Boogie Nights Bulky, which is a chunky weight polyester yarn. Basically a blanket yarn kind of a deal. It's cute. It is cute for the little ones. Um, it says, magic is woven into every stitch of this fun and easy cape. This is the perfect addition to any young wizard's costume. I don't know any young wizards. I know some old witches, though. Oh, here's some more costumey type stuff. Awesome. I love that they're including this in here. Royal Play Crown. Look at that. You know that's a fake smile, right? This kid is not happy to be having his picture taken in this crown today. But he's faking it real well. <laughs> this is an intermediate. They're doing it out of um, two different yarns here. They've got a number four medium weight for the gray and stuff. And then they have a glitter yarn that kind of goes around it in a number one super fine. So you need two different hooks for this. Uh, five and a half millimeter hook can't see where the other one says crown will stretch to fit up to a 21 inch head circumference no crown for me i got a big head a little sparkle two color changes and a final round with perky picos make for a perfect playtime crown for your favorite youngster see they even said it's not for old people like me i want a crown i want a tiara yeah another shot of that, that that's kind of cute you know if you're making costumes for your little one there you go Oh, I could make it for myself. Designer tip. To make your crown larger or smaller, simply add or subtract in 10 row increments, five reps, from the foundation. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is adorkable, okay? This is the lion headband. Again, more halloween -y type stuff. Look at that. It's called an easy. They're doing it in two different um, yarns, a bulky and a light. Uh, Premier Basics Chunky and Premier Color Fusion DK. And the finished measurements are two and a half inches wide and 13 and a half inches long. That is cute. It says, it's fun to watch the curls twist up as you crochet and front ties make the headband fully adjustable so anyone can be a lion. That's cute. And look at the little kid pretending to be a lion. That, that's a cute. Oh, wow, another one. Oh, now this is more up my alley, actually. It's a monster hat. Y'all, if you have little ones, you better be making them some stuff like this. Uh, this is a, figured as a three, easy. It's done in uh, number four, medium weight, uh, Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling, and out of the Lion Brand Bonbons, fine sport weight cotton yarn. I guess for some of the colors, because you have a bunch of the different colors in there. That is cute. Behold your little darling. Transformed into a cute little monster with this easy hat. Crochet the basic hat, then applique the crocheted features and attach to form the face. Okay, that makes it a lot easier if you're just like doing the applique thing. Cute. A lot of directions, though. Whoa, this is pages, even though it says it's easy. Tough, tough, tough. Now this is something for the grown folks, okay? Oops, I thought I said Ursula at first. It doesn't say Ursula. I almost said Ursula. Uppsala? I've never seen that word before. Cable hat. Look at that. That is a cute hat. I love how colorful it is. They're using a five bulky weight Premier Yarns puzzle oh that's that puzzle stuff yes this is the acrylic chunky weight stuff not the cotton um cabled hats are a winter staple coupling the cables with a yarn like puzzle makes for a visually interesting accessory of which no two are exactly alike 
and it saves you from having to do those crazy color changes. If you don't want to have to like tie off, change it, blah, 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 blah. That makes it easy. And it, it does make a really cool look for this hat that is actually quite cute. This says that it's an intermediate. Um, okay, one skein of puzzle will make one hat and two pom-poms with at least two color transitions to spare so you can choose your look. All right, that's cool. Very cool. Caramat cabled set. Basically, they're hot pads or pot holders. I'm not sure what Caramat cable is. I'm sure it means something, and somebody's going to school me in the comments, but that's okay. These are made out of number four Lily Sugar and Cream, um, out of a super size skein, uh, medium worsted weight cotton. This is in Jade Mist, five millimeter crochet hook. Like that. I like stuff that is practical, and that's practical. That's something you could do in any color you wanted. And you can really see the cabling in it. And I think this would be a good way to really work on your little bits of cabling skills. Like, like if you have, if you've never tried them. Um, the finished measurement on these are six and a half inches square. It does say it's an intermediate. And I think that's because of the cable look in, that's in it. But remember, if you are making pot holders or anything that's going to deal with anything hot, do not use acrylic yarn. You have to use cotton or wool that's made for it, or something that is not going to burn or scorch because, well, or melt. Acrylic will melt. It's a bad thing. But, yeah, cotton. These words they're coming up with today, y'all. This is also an intermediate. There's also cabling in it, and they're using a four medium uh, worsted weight yarn. Ogoki Fingerless Mitts, designed by Fireside Crochet, Lisa Briggs. This is a four intermediate again, but I'm not making up this word, okay? Ogoki, Ogoki, I don't know. They're nice mitts though. I do like that. Um, oh, that's cool. It's not worked in the round, which I think would make it a lot more complicated. It's worked flat in a cable pattern that's repeated on both sides, and then you sew up the side. So that is one way to make it a little easier, I guess. But that might be interesting to try, again, with the cables. Apparently they want us to learn cables in this, this issue, like a lot. Here's some more cables. Told you. This is the Exton Cabled Headband. How cute would that be for fall or winter if you're trying to keep those ears warm, right? They're doing this out of Plymouth Yarn Encore DK Weight. It's an acrylic wool blend. Um, looks like two skeins. And each skein is 50 grams. So that's not a ton of yarn, of course. It's a headband. Alternating twisting cables make this an attractive headband because you wouldn't want to make an ugly headband, right? Uh, perfect to keep your ears warm and your hair back. Helpful. It is helpful. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, <clears throat> that's an advert. Look at that kitty on that little kitty couch. Oh my God, I would have to make it almost people size though for Oscar. That's way too small for my boy. But it's so cute. But yeah, you can uh, crochet a kitty couch. There's an online class and he's craft score for that in case you're interested in that. Oh, this is so pretty. This is an intermediate. And I'll, I'll show you the picture in a second. You'll enjoy making this warm and cozy lapgan with simple cables that are almost hypnotizing. Okay, well, that's what it says anyway. But look, that is really cute. It's nice. The finished measurements on this are 41 inches wide, 46 inches long. Probably works up pretty quickly because you're using a number five bulky weight, King Cole Ultra Soft chunky bulky chunky weight acrylic yarn um it's 100 grams per ball which is 158 yards um use nine balls of it so yeah and it also gives you some notes on how you can widen it if you want to to make it like bigger than just a regular lap can but yeah I'm using the single crochet popcorn in there that's the special stitch and plus a little bit of cabling dude i think crochet world has said this month uh, you can learn some cabling. Don't know if I will or not, but I like looking at it. Ooh. 
Look at that. That is super cool looking. Um, this is a boho star basket designed by Crow and Finch. It says it's an intermediate, but it is using number five bulky hemp teak craft and gardening hemp core. Wow. Okay. Uh, it says 170 pounds, three millimeters thick hemp yarn. It's 41 yards per ball, 123 feet. So it's not a lot per ball. It does take eight balls to do this. Um, and you are using what kind of a hook? an eight millimeter hook, and you need 19 inch steel floral hoops, two of them, two of them, and some cardboard to like firm up the bottom or top. And it also says you need two to three clamps or a friend optional. <laughs> if you ain't got no friends, it's okay because on this one, they're optional. You don't need friends. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Wow. All right. I like that, though. I hope they give another picture of it because that's just kind of showing you one side of it. But it is a basket. It says this stunning basket is crocheted from the center out, utilizing front post stitches to create a 3D star image. Floral hoops are crocheted around on the last round to create a structural support. And the base adds more stability with a removable piece of cardboard. All right. That's pretty cool. I want you to find your surprise face now, okay? More cables. This is called the Twister Poncho. It says it's an intermediate designed by Laura Gebhardt. Uh, instructions given to fit a women's size small slash large with changes for extra large slash 2X in, paren or in brackets, not parentheses. Uh, the finished measurements, uh, length is 26 inches and the width is either 48 inches or 49 and three quarter inches. And they're using Red Heart Super Saver Brushed. Have you ever used that yarn? I haven't. I haven't even seen it yet. Super Saver Brushed. Did somebody just get bored and start brushing their yarn? Or is this a different kind of yarn? I don't know. Anyway. You need a five and a half millimeter hook, it says, per this. Uh, for a five ounce skein, which has 255 yards, you need... Okay, how many does it say? seven or eight skeins depending on the size so there you go eight skeins i bet that's going to be warm though it looks cozy and warm yeah and you know so many of us have so much in our stash already we don't have to go out and buy brush yarn or whatever we can just like use what we have uh-oh we've gone tunisian y'all and we're doing cables in it Ooh. This says intermediate. That to me screams holy cannoli. That's difficult, but you know, this is a using a six super bulky. They're using Bernat softy chunk or Bernay, sorry, uh, softy chunky super bulky. It's a acrylic yarn. Blah, 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 blah. This is a design by Sandy Walker. Um, they're using a ten millimeter Tunisian with a fourteen inch long cable. So. Yeah, you need the long goop 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 on your Tunisian, not just a stick Tunisian on this one. Um, throw is worked from written instructions and chart. Return passes are not represented on the chart. Remember to always work, work your return pass to complete each row. I've done like this much Tunisian. I think it's cool. I'd like to work on it some more. I just, there's not enough hours in the day. That is really cool looking. I like it. I like the way it looks says, gently curving continuous cables stitched with soft bulky yarn are used to create this visually stunning textured cable throw. I just never thought about doing cables or anything like that on Tunisian hooks, but I mean, it makes sense, but I just don't lie, I never thought of it. That's very cool though. Oh, and how much yarn does this one take? <laughs> A lot, I'm sure. Let's see. They're only three and a half ounces per super. That is, you know, if you're doing a super bulky, dude, make it a big skein. Don't make little tiny three and a half ounce skeins. There's only 108 yards per 100 gram ball. It takes 13 of those balls. Wow, that's going to cost a lot. Unless you can find a good sale. A good sale would help. Another picture of those cables close up, though. Look at that. I'm telling you, that's gorgeous. I, I, that is so pretty.
and I give you um, a chart to show you how you're doing it with the number of stitches. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here we have all these names today and more cables. Forget calling this the fall issue. They should have just called this the stinking cable issue. This luxurious wrap looks like it traveled straight from the Aran Islands. The design features a center panel of honeycomb cables bordered by two braided cables that climb up the length of the wrap. That's what it says. I mean, it's pretty. It is. It's an intermediate 20 and a half inches wide by 70 inches long. They're using a number four medium. They're using Bernay. See, I did it right that time. Premium tweeds, worsted weight, acrylic viscose yarn. Um, seven ounces, 198 grams per skein. And that's five skeins of it using a six millimeter hook. That is, it's very pretty. I, I won't ever make it, but it is super pretty. Two by two cable poncho. Look at that. Yes, they're flouting the cables this month. Um, this is a two by two cable poncho designed by Brand Bendy Carter. Bendy? B-E-N-D-Y? Is that right? Or is that a typo? I don't know. Um, it's an intermediate. One size fits most. I'm not sure one size fits most of what, but you know, fits most. 38 inches wide, 20 inches long, and they're using a number four medium. Premier Yarns Ever Soft Medium Worsted Weight. Uh, six skeins at 150 grams per skein. So there you go. Plus, plus, Premier Yarns Spun Colors Worsted Weight Acrylic Slash Superwash Merino Yarn. 200 grams per cake, three cakes of that. That's gonna cost you a pretty penny. It'll turn out nice though. But yeah, well, here we go. I love their little descriptions. Try something new and fun with this interesting cabled poncho featuring a two row repeat and contrasting colors. And here towards the end, you have a lot of the, oh, go to page so-and-so to finish this thing here. Okay, and there's more of that close-up of that uh, twister poncho there up at the top. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, back at the end of the book, like every month, they have what it means for their skill levels and the descriptions, the standard weight system for yarns, give you more information, some standard stitch guides, diagrams and such. And abbreviations to tell you, you know, to help you out with that. Plus, at the end, I love this, the design directory. Got something you remembered, you don't want to go search in the table of contents because you can't remember what in the world they called it. Look at that back page, and you can see. And an advert for what has become my favorite hooks, the Clover Amore. No sponsor, just um, that's what I like to use. So there you go. That is the crochet world for October 2022. Thank you for sticking with me for this long. I know it has been, oh gosh, I'm looking at it now, 33 minutes. But a lot of good stuff in there. And it's, you know, maybe it might make you want to go out and buy the magazine. Maybe not. Um, maybe it want, inspires you to make something fall related or to like put cables on everything. Everything. You're doing a wristband, put cables on it. Making a sweater, put cables on it. You're making a diaper cover, put cables on it. Or something. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. Um, watch the playlist that pop across the top. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.